and good afternoon, good evening. I'm Jadawan, and welcome to episode one of This Is My Land. I'm going to start a season. Please leave me comments. Let me know what you think if you want to see more. We'll get a few episodes up and then see how the viewers think. If they want to see more gameplay, then we'll continue. It will definitely post on Sunday, probably around 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And then there may then there may be days that we may have more episodes, and I'll post those. But definitely every Sunday. So let's get our gamers edge on. Let's get started. All right, we are in. Is that our name? See what that gets me. Yeah. Minus warriors. We're just playing around a little bit. That works for me. Jadam and Wolf Caller. 35 stamina, plus 5 warriors, plus 15 weight. That works. And I got Jadam in it, so that's the main thing. Confirm that. Where's our camp going to be located? We're going to play normal. I'll let you read that. Okay, so go to tab, go to craft, craft that, craft that, then what you want to do is click on here, add some orders. We have five warriors, confirm that. We're going to add another order. Don't quite need that many. Let's make 15. Get them to make 15. Then we'll add one more order for mushroom infusion, I think it is, or black rush tea. Just get ten of those going. Now I need to go back to chat, I mean craft, and I need to create an objective. And we're going to need lots of arrows. So my first objective is going to be searching for enough wood to make arrows. Now you see I'm getting indicators on my top of my HUD there. So I'm going to pause the recording here and gather up materials and stuff like that. When I find something interesting, I'll bring you back in. But they're doing their business. These things keep coming up at the most inopportune times, honestly. I guess this is my tent. Or a shared tent, I don't know. But we'll let them do their business. So 
So if we look at this, they're actually working. And I kind of want them in that order. So we'll see what happens here. And then more of that stuff. So I will be back when I collect up enough stuff to get some a good amount of arrows made. Alright, I'm back. I got enough wood, so I'm crafting that up. Get myself a whole bunch of arrows made. So now I can create a new objective. While we're here, I'm going to get enough to get two bows going. And the reason why is I was playing around and I my bow broke when I was in a fight. So I definitely want to have an extra bow on me. So it's going to tell me just to collect the wood. Because I've already apparently got enough flax built up. Like I said, if I see it, I pick it up right now because I don't know what everything's going to be useful for. I mean, this is going to be a learning process for me. If you, so, if you figured anything out about this game, please let me know in the comments. If I'm going to do a series on this, I may need your help as my viewers just to figure out, learn how to play, do things. Try not to show you too much gathering here. I oh, need a few more pieces. I'll let you see enough of this to get show you that how this part worked, and it just leads me around. And so as I'm running around, I'm just gathering whatever I have learned that is gatherable, just based on the plants and whatnot. The hickory sticks are harder to see. If you're not highlighting those, they're definitely harder. Alright, so what it wants now is I have to actually complete that process. Because look, I haven't done it and it won't let me create a new objective until I have completed that process. Okay, we need to get back home. So we need to go to that. So what you gotta do now is press one, pick a bow, and now you can press the right mouse button to load it. Now I've seen, I've noticed the occasional hickory, but they are a lot harder than us to see. We're not too far away from this campfire. Sometimes some of it's like underneath a bush or something like that and you can't actually get a hold of it, I've noticed. We'll see if I can find something to do here. Once we get this campfire, I'll pause it, do a little more searching around. Yeah, I know about the fast travel. Tell you what, those pop-ups can be a little irritating. I actually had, when I was playing around, learning the game, 
I got in a fight and I had one of those pop-ups come out. I swear that pop-up almost got me killed. Alright, so when you find these campsites, you need to do this and light it. So now what I can do, so we have a trading post, we have Sodders Forest Camp. We need to go get that one. So I'm going to pause this and run there, and I'll bring you back when we get there, or in case something something interesting happens. Alright, bringing you back in. We're coming up on that campsite. Don't want you to miss anything. Because sometimes things happen, and I just can't hit the unpause button fast enough. I try. Looks like it's up that, up there somewhere. I heard something. Where's behind all this? Yeah, it looks like it was right behind it. Oh, what do we have here? Okay, they joined me. Just curious to see what's all here. things coming. I wonder if they're following my original orders or not. We definitely need to get some arrows made. You see, this is their inventory. No, I don't want to travel. See, this is their inventory. They've been doing stuff, see? So we've now got a couple bows built there, and they're slowly making arrows. Interesting. Okay, what else can we do? There's a trading post.
So I can send warriors to this, apparently. Okay, so we have an upgrade capability as well. Four tusk stag pelts and buffalo pelts. Okay. We got two of eight horses capable. Okay. So I think we need to add an order. Buffalo pelts, it says. See what that see what that does. Well, I got fifty five arrows. I've got an extra bows on me. I will bring you back when I get near that camp. No sense of you just watch me wander through the wilderness. Okay, I may regret this, but we're close. There's the camp. I dropped everything I had off at the camp. I'm only picking it up because I'm coming across it. There's one. That bow broke, so they break quite often, I guess.
Well, he killed a boar. Okay, I'm just trying to figure this out. It looks like that's all one loot box. So what did this do for us? I'm up here. Next place I want to go would be there. It kind of sucked that bows break so fast. I don't know what broke it. Maybe he got a shot in on my bow. I don't know. But what we'll do here, we'll go to crafting and we'll create another objective to craft one bow. And this will help us find this stuff. Just keep going in the vicinity general direction. So I'm going to pause the video, collect the stuff I need to make the bows, and I will bring you back in when I get closer to that camp. Okay, we're real close. It'll be right in here somewhere. There it is. All right, we're going to save here. I actually got a couple bows made. So based on this location, looks like we got some wolves over here, bears over there. We've taken out this camp. And they're all doing their business. Oh, see, they got boar pelts. They've been getting... We don't... We'll get some sinew together. If I go to skills... I got 254 skill points, not a whole lot. But we can go to social. Now I have some stuff, so we'll take all my skill points. I picked up, I did personally pick up the special edition with the DLCs, so I get an Ancestor's Bow.
Apparently it takes time. And then I can put items. So I have a total of a thousand. There's my hunter skills. We can go hunting, gathering. Okay. We can go to a chief. Clean karma, okay. Group gathering for those guys. Me as a scout, I can get a spyglass, endurance, improved intimidation. And as a warrior, I can get better with my bow. Increase my health. Increase my backpack, stamina regen. Our tomahawk, heal wounds. That increases all weapon damage. This increased my health by 30. Okay. This will increase my rifle accuracy, my pistol accuracy. Well, I'm spending the points there. Now we can come to the crafting. spend some points but we need to figure out what we're going to spend them on. Oh. I need 1800 to learn how to make an ash bow. Well, we're taking a look at some of the crafting stuff. So I want to thank you for watching. You have a great day and a good night. And I'm going to say goodbye and I will see you in the next episode.